what's up guys this is the Inky Ben box it's a Wi-Fi powered wireless video transmitter working on the 5.8G frequency band it can transmit 1080p video up to 60 frames per second up to a maximum of 100 meters with a latency of less than 150 milliseconds using the HDMI port on your camera and also using the Inky mobile app which is available for both iOS and Android so let's go ahead and check this out in the box as you can see this is probably one of the smallest and most compact wireless video transmitters I've seen on the market. I'm gonna set this up with my Sony a7 III. There's a few other accessories that I like to see in the box before I do that. So you get yourself the user manual and instructions on how to connect this and get up and running. And lastly, you have a whole bunch of cables. Now there's various different cables here to connect the Ben box to the type of camera you have. So I have a Sony camera and as you can see, this is the Sony cable. They also have a mini USB to connect that to the mini USB ports on your camera. You also have the USB type C. You also have a micro USB and then you also have a Panasonic connector as well. So plenty of options to connect it. So let's go ahead, set this up on my camera and let's showcase its capabilities. Right, so the bend box is now mounted on top using the hot shoe. I've got the HDMI to micro HDMI connected to my Sony a7 III and I'm using the Sony USB adapter to connect that into my camera as well so I'll be able to control that with my phone to take videos and photos. To turn it on, you simply press the on off button once and then you hold it down for a couple of seconds until all the lights turn blue and then the Wi-Fi light will be a solid steady blue light. Like so. Then you can turn your camera on and you'll see it will detect the USB for controlling and then you simply select OK to allow it to be controlled remotely. The next step is to now connect this using your mobile phone. To do that you simply go into the Wi-Fi settings, you will find a Benbox Wi-Fi. Once you find that you select this, the default password is 12345678. Once that's connected then you can now load up the in key mobile app so there you see it's now showing the menu if I just press the shutter on the camera it will now go into view so now you have the live view on both the camera and the mobile phone you are ready to start shooting so the one thing I really wanted to showcase to you guys is the response time but just to let you know before I do that that most camera models you can wirelessly control the manual settings for things like the aperture, the ISO and the shutter speed in addition to the buttons for shooting the videos and taking pictures like I have here. Now I'm using a Sony a7 III using the Sony USB connector it's not currently possible to control the manual settings like the aperture and the ISO but it works for most of the other camera models as you can see here it works for Canon, Panasonic Fujifilm, all of the other ones and I'll have a link down below of where you can see the compatibility list that you can see now. So the main things that you can do using the mobile app is as you can see along the bottom you can change the resolution to 1080 which I'm doing there. You also have the zebra slider so you can have a look at the picture settings and adjust that accordingly. Check the grid and you also have some options for some LUTs. So you can see here if I select one I can actually slide this to see the difference as a comparison which I think is a very nice touch and it's so smooth it just works great. So I will deselect these picture settings. You have the menu at the top. This basically tells you the basic information about the Wi-Fi, the firmware versions you can download from here, you can add some LUTs and some information about the Benbox app. So let's go ahead and check the response times. I will basically just go and stand in front of the camera and showcase to you guys what the latency is on this which I'm actually very impressed with. As you can see it's pretty much instantaneous, it's super fast so now what I like to do is test this outdoors and check how responsive it is by pushing it to the maximum 100 meter range of transmission. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right guys, so I'm outdoors now. This car park is 100 meters in length. I've pre-measured it. So the trees and the bushes right at the back there, you'll be able to see if the latency goes really bad or it maintains it quite well. That will be 100 meters. I'm gonna walk backwards and I will get there 
to the 50 meter mark and I'll wave to you. So that's halfway just to see the difference in the latency. So I've currently got it connected. I'm screen recording as well. So you guys will be able to see that side by side when playing back this video. So let me go ahead and walk back. One other thing to note is that on top of the bend box is an internal antenna. So devices like the Holy Land Mars, you have external antennas that you need to position towards the person that has the phone but this one is all internal. I would still recommend you are in its line of sight when you are filming. So let me go ahead, walk backwards, and hopefully you guys can see how the latency is. So I'm gonna wave at the 50 meter mark. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay guys, I'm at the 100 meter mark. I'm waving now, I'm right by the trees. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Just going to walk. Let me know what you guys think of the latency. So now I'm going to head back. So this looks absolutely clear from my phone. It's just the perfect thing to have when you're shooting and you're gonna be far away from your camera, maybe by yourself. So then you can just start recording from here. You can take pictures from here, whatever it may be. It's the perfect solution if you are going to do everything by yourself. But even if you have a camera person, you can use this to see yourself, make sure you're in frame, you like the lighting, you like the focus, everything like that. So I think it's great. All right guys, so I've played it back. It does a very good job, ideally, the 50, 60, 70 meter marks is perfectly fine. If you do push it right to the 100 meter marks, I did notice a bit more latency than normal, but that's absolutely expected if you are going to do very long distance range because the transmission and the antenna would struggle a little bit to pick it up. But for the most part, I'm so happy with this. It's so easy to set up, that's the convenience of it. And also if you do a lot of remote shooting, it has a 2,500 milliamp hour battery inside, which gives you about three and a half hours of shooting time. But the best thing about this is that you can actually power and charge the Benbox device itself whilst it's still in use. So if you have a power bank, plug it into the USB-C port and you can continually have the power getting outputted into the camera using an external power source. So this comes in about 109 pounds on Amazon. Make sure you check the link down below. It's really convenient if you are a filmmaker, a photographer, this is the perfect complimentary thing to have in your camera or tech backpack like I'm going to do. So check the link down below. If you found this review useful, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. I do a lot of camera accessory videos, which I know you're gonna like, and I have a lot more coming up this year as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you won't miss those ones. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.